All right. What's going on, you guys? Brian here with a quick recap of what went down on both episodes of tonight's AEW and NXT Tuesday Night Wars. Uh, AEW Dynamite airing a very special edition of Dynamite, or AEW airing a special episode of Dynamite tonight going head-to-head -head with NXT. Now, mind you, I did was flipping back and forth, so I might have missed some things on AEW and NXT, but um, I think I pretty much uh, saw everything that happened on NXT. I might have missed some stuff on Dynamite tonight. So, let's just get into it. Of course, this, look, we're going to start with NXT. Of course, this Saturday night is NXT's Halloween Havoc. And on tonight's episode of NXT, we found out who will be hosting NXT Halloween Havoc this Saturday night, as there will be two, not one, but two co-hosts hosting an, uh, Halloween Havoc this Saturday night on the on WWE on Peacock, their premium live event, NXT Halloween Havoc. As we found out tonight, that it will be Shotzi Blackheart and with his victory uh, over Zion Quinn, it will Shotzi's co-host for Halloween Havoc this Saturday night will be the super diva Quincy Elliott. So that was pretty much it for that. That that happened. That was announced uh, a little bit later in the in the show. But in action tonight, um, as part of the Pick Your Poison night on NXT. Rhea Ripley, who was handpicked by Cora Jade to take on Roxanne Perez. Uh, of course, Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez will be doing battle this Saturday at Halloween Havoc in a Weapons Wild match. Rhea Ripley picked up the win in the opening match against Roxanne Perez. Um, I believe it's Chan uh, Stax uh, of... of representing uh, Tony D'Angelo, the Don of NXT, um, he took on a mystery opponent of Tony D'Angelo's choosing, and it wound up being the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Nakamura picked up the win over Stax. Then we heard from Grayson Waller in an interview uh, talking about his upcoming match this Saturday night against Apollo Crews, which and that interview would be interrupted by the demonic doll Chucky, who informed Grayson Waller that the match between Apollo Crews and Grayson Waller will be a spin the wheel, make the deal match. Uh, so that will be uh, pretty much it for that. Was pretty much it for that. We had a uh, Axiom Nathan Fraser and Von Wagner backstage segment. Of course, Nathan Fraser with his victory over Axiom in their best of three series, earned the opportunity to, to compete in this Saturday's five-way ladder match for the vacant North American, NXT North American Championship. Uh, and we would see these two, uh, Nathan Frazier and Von Wagner, um, later on in the show. Uh, we also saw Alba, Alba Fire uh, defeat Sonya Deville. Of course, Alba Fire will be doing will be challenging for the NXT Women's Championship this Saturday night at Halloween Havoc, taking on the champion Mandy Rose. We had a West Lee, Oro, Oro Mensa, Carmelo Hayes, and Trick Williams backstage brawl that would lead to a tag team match that saw Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams pick up the win. Uh, Carmelo Hayes, West Lee, and Oro Mensa are the other three combatants in this Saturday's five-way ladder match include, that included includes Nathan Frazier and Von Wagner for the vacant North American Championship. We saw Cameron Grimes and Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson uh, be victorious over the schism. Um, we saw the NXT... Sorry, guys. My nose is a little... I uh, see a little sneeze coming on. We saw an NXT Women's Tag Team title match contract signing between Zoe Starks and Nikita Lyons and the champions, uh, Kaden Carter and, and her tag team partner, Katana Chance, I believe her name, her name is. 
I'm sorry if I'm butcher. I know it's Katana something, but I don't remember what the name is. Um, uh, then we saw... Oh, let's see. That that tag women NXT women's tag title match will happen next week. We heard from Julius Creed and Damon Kemp ahead of their ambulance match this Saturday night at NXT Halloween Havoc, in which if Julius if Julius Creed loses, his brother Brutus Creed is gone from NXT. Then we saw, of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, Shotzi was announced as the host of Halloween Havoc, and in a match because that led to Quincy Elliott becoming the get the co-host, Zion Quinn lost to Quincy Elliott when both of them interrupted Shotzi wanting to be her co-host, and so this led to a match between the two, and Quincy Elliott defeated Zion Quinn. Then we had a Chase University uh, segment that was interrupted by once again by Chucky, who was announced to make a, an appearance on NXT tonight. Uh, Cora Jade defeated Raquel Rodriguez via disqualification. Uh, Raquel was the was Roxanne Perez's choice to face Cora Jade tonight, as far as as um, part of the whole pick your poison matchups. We heard from Pretty Deadly and their challengers. Um, I believe the name is Malik Black and Idris Enoff, 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 eh? ahead of next week's uh, tag, NXT Tag Title Defense by Pretty Deadly, in which they'll be defending. And the final segment of the show was the Kevin Owens show involving the three men involved in this Saturday night's NXT Championship Triple Threat Match, the champion Braun Breaker. E.L. Dragunov and um, J.D. McDonough. And this would end with Dragunov laying both Braun Breaker and uh, J.D. out. And he would then be interrupted by Mr. Money in the Bank himself, Austin Theory, who kind of hinted at maybe cashing in his contract at for the NXT Championship, which would be I believe a first in WWE. And then, like I said, now moving on to AEW Dynamite, uh, there were some parts that I missed, like I missed the FTR interview, um, I missed Jay Lethal attacking Darby Allen backstage, other stuff that happened. But here were the matches as they went down. Death Triangle on Dynamite tonight retained the trios championships against the best friends and all Atlantic champion uh, Orange Cassidy. Tony Storm retained her NX or AEW her AEW interim world women's world championship against Hikaru Shida. Afterwards, Britt Baker, Jamie Hayter, and Rebel would attack Tony Storm. Soraya, Soraya would come out, and then we would see the return of Rio. Or Rio, making the save for the baby faces. We had a William Regal interview that was interrupted by MJF. We saw Chris Jericho successfully retain once again the Ring of Honor World Title against Dalton Castle. Uh, afterwards, the uh, two members of the Jericho Appreciation Society went after Ian Riccoboni, the commentator for Ring of Honor, and before they could do, before Jericho could do any damage. Jerry Lynn would, would try to make the save, but he would get laid out. So uh, that was pretty much it for that. And then in the main event, John Moxley uh, retained the AEW World title against Hangman Adam Page. And during this match, apparently Hangman suffered an injury, a, a, looked like a serious injury, and a uh, stretcher was brought out, and... Hangman was taken away on the stretcher. Hopefully, Hangman is going to be okay. Hopefully, he recovers. Um, so, you know, speedy recover wishing a speedy recovery for Hangman. And afterwards, uh, it would be revealed that MJF 
Looks like it's going to be MJF versus John Moxley for the AEW World Title at Full Gear in November, and that was pretty much it for Dynamite. Like I said, I was flipping through, flipping back and forth, and um, it seemed like I was watching more of NXT than Dynamite. Um, I might have a recap of Dynamite maybe tomorrow. I'll try to. I'm gonna. I DVR'd it, so anything that I, you know, I might have missed some stuff I, I that I read online that happened. So um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, I, I mean, I should just say that I, I, I did flip to see what was going on in Dynamite, and this was the stuff that I seen, and I was pretty much watching NXT because. Of course, NXT tonight's episode was the go-home show before Halloween Havoc, so I wanted to see what kind of build-up they did um, for that event come up Saturday. But, yeah, um, if you guys watched both shows tonight, let me know which show you thought was better. Uh, as always, uh, or I should say, this has been my NXT and AEW Dynamite uh, recap uh, for the whole show for NXT and, and part of the show for AEW Dynamite that happened tonight. If you guys watched both shows, which one do you think was the better show tonight? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I am Brian, and I will see you next time. See ya.